Hey guys and welcome back to my City Builders channel here on YouTube. I'm Ben and today I'm playing again City Skylines, which is currently my favorite or an all-time favorite City Builder game. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would really be happy if you did so. Um, during the last episode, um, so this is episode 8 now. Um, during the last episode, I built out a couple of, yeah, connections, new connections to my incoming highway here, um, which is this one, and I already laid out a new route for this highway into my probably um, or most likely bigger downtown area here. And I already included a couple of industries over here. I know I can't serve all of them yet. And I know that not all um, like resources can be imported um, just by yeah, accident or from the outdoor connections here on the map. So I will have to produce them over time. But still, I wanted to lay out this industrial area over here just to have, yeah, kind of a plan for the future. And I'm thinking about adding in an airport, maybe not this time yet, because it's, it's probably a bit too soon for this little town over with roughly something about 60k um, citizens to have an airport so maybe i'm going to expand like over here and have a huge airport there i'm not yet sure well we'll see how things develop over time and yeah for now i'm i'm curious i think i'm going to change a couple of things back to a more reasonable thing <coughs> Sorry, I just got a little cold recently, so excuse me for um, maybe having a different voice than than usually. Um, so currently, I know I put in a six-lane road here, and this is something I, I hardly do, especially in a town. I'm not yet sure whether it was the right decision or not, so we'll we'll see what happens. Um, so maybe I'm going to downgrade them again to a four lane road, which should usually be enough. But yeah, let's see how things develop and how the traffic situation evolves over time in this episode. So maybe we can have a plan um, later today. So what I'm uh, planning to do actually in two days episode is adding in my first um, public train station here <coughs> that would allow my citizens to like leave the town or come into the town, especially the tourists. I do not have a lot of touristy attractions yet. Um, there is one up here. This is the meteor site. Um, I have one mall right next to it, so this might be a little bit interesting for, for tourists here and of course a couple of parks here. Um, but honestly, only having parks um, and even having like one of these nature reserves here doesn't really um, make things good enough for uh, tourist attractions and I haven't put down like any commercial touristy attractions yet um, this is something i'm a bit hesitant about right at the moment because my commercial demand is anyway ridiculously high at a very high level and it, it keeps rising rising over time and i'm just wondering why to be honest because um this whole district here is basically commercial only 
Um, here we have a few residents living, and here are a few citizens, and here, which is not a lot. Um, and for 60k um, citizens, to be honest, it's huge. It's really huge, more than I um, expected it to be. And yeah, I think due to the fact that I put down here a couple of industry so i'm just wondering where or what i can produce yet don't have glass so maybe i'm like no i i earn enough on a on a weekly basis so i don't i don't mind keeping these industries running for the meantime, it's well, it doesn't really matter from my perspective. So I'm curious. Oh, yeah, that's what I expected to happen because a lot of people are um, using like this new uh, connection here. And I, yeah, I almost expected it um, to happen because I. I think I needed to do some lane management here and let them know that this is the wrong direction they are taking and it doesn't really make sense to switch to the right lane here without really having a, a business like something to do um, down there doesn't really matter because if they want to go down there they can switch lanes anyway and i don't understand because i tried to take care here of a proper lane management so which means i have two incoming lanes one incoming lane which end up in two uh three lanes in the end um so it's kind of yeah strange that they are switching and turning around like like crazy here and doing some lane switching that honestly i didn't expect to happen um, so just quickly pausing the time of day thing and yeah there's another thing that um recently happened yeah but this is okay this is fine and so i'm just doing some lane management here so they are not thinking about doing some shenanigans here yeah this is where they easily can turn that's no no prop at all so I'm curious how um, uh, sorry this overlay um so I'm curious how things are developing over time um so I just changed the time of day to be honest I wanted to have something like a huge oh that's something I wanted to do because I wanted to have something like a huge incoming train connection thingy um like a big main station here and there and the yeah to be honest those in-game um possibilities regarding train stations are oof, very very limited i think because I only have like either this train connection here or that one and none of these really do make me happy so it's I think it's fine to have a train connection like this um, in your like in your town maybe in the suburbs it's it's fine enough but uh 
to be honest, it's maybe not the most attractive train station ever. Yeah. So I'm just thinking um, to put in one like train station for my citizens in here um, just to make sure that I have something like the first incoming connection here. Um, so probably doesn't look beautiful yet, but that's something we can easily adjust here with the move it mod. So I think that's good and it should be working well enough. Just wondering whether enough people will actually come in. and use this train connection at any given point in time so you're like under So I'm, I'm trying to use the given situation here um, with my existing buildings and such. Just going on the down below everything that's yeah, and there should be another So there is one incoming connection here. So I just wanted to pick up this. Kind of network here. Maybe I'm bridging the gap. thinking oh no yeah this is this is something that really kind of bothers me because this um happens so often that i have to like use i don't want you to go well, why not? Let's see whether I can fit this in. I can't really fit it in here. Right, and let's see whether we can put down this train station like over here. So yeah, we'll we'll see. Of course, this would end my construction here. <coughs> Sorry for being sick at the moment. It's a bit frustrating. 
Yeah, so we're staying on the ground here, I think. This is way more like convenient. So staying on the ground here for now. And same goes for this as that really doesn't make sense here or it doesn't really help me. And I need to like level out the terrain here a little bit. Just to support. Okay, so this will change in a sec, of course. Um, so down to zero, down by another line, and on the ground, staying on the ground for. So it's getting interesting weather. Did that work? Yeah, kind of worked, didn't it? Just curious. So yeah, there is a new train station here. So we'll see, we have one, two, maybe we should put put down one more, like here in the middle of nowhere. Oh yeah, that, that would actually be interesting uh, to have another. Okay, let me just check whether it's working. So you're stopping here. Oh, but you're not going any further. Why? Why is that? Yeah, we'll check and see. Maybe in a little while, things will be better. So another train station for my citizens here. And pick up the railroad tracks, connect them to the existing network. Yeah, okay, it's a passenger station. I was qu <laughs> quickly um, afraid of not like, no, please go ahead. Why isn't this working? I think there, there seems to be a mistake here made by me that connection over here. I think this is pretty strange that it's like not working. No, 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 I want to have the train tracks. Okay. So you connected, I should use that tool probably. And connect you up there, connect you here. Does that look any better now or work any better now? So I'm curious when the next train is coming on, double checking on things here. Well, okay, seems to work. There was a train coming right out of the tunnel. Awesome. So we have one, two, three, four train stations now. And a lot of train traffic. 
which is good. Yeah, and this is exactly what I thought would happen. Um, it's so honestly, I don't get it. People, you're you all want to go straight ahead, all want to go straight ahead. So, why are you not using three lanes? Why are you not using all three lanes? I don't. I do not understand this. This is one of the game mechanics in, in City Skylines. As good as the game is, definitely. But this game mechanic is something I don't get. But that's fine. Um, so I'll work around my, yeah, the whole thing in a little while, I guess. I have to change this to a I think it's more than enough to have a like a, a regular four lane road maybe with with some trees or some green whatever part inside so I'm downgrading you guys now to four lanes so you're looking as beautiful as six lanes no worries about that maybe even more beautiful because having nah. oh people are piling up here yeah that's something i did not really take care about so far because um, those bus lanes, well, they are bus or bus stations. It is what it is. So, yeah, yeah. Same goes for that here. And I think I'll do the same right away for this road here and that road there because no need for a six lane road over here as well. So I think it's, yeah, that probably looks way more, um, yeah, way more. natural and way more beautiful in the end than having six lane roads as long as you're not like building or rebuilding i don't know have i ever seen six lane regular six lane roads in tokyo yeah i've seen those um however i think four lane Roads are usually enough for this game. Now I'm picking out again a few roads here, like maybe this or that one. I'm not sure. Just curious how the other one looks like. Yeah, it looks a bit more like separated a bit more hmm. not bad because those type of roads actually disallow automatically disallow parking on the roadside which is really helpful in my case Because, yeah, roadside parking is not something you always want to have. Uh, 
the beach front or the waterfront here. How, well, have a look at my commercial demand. It's really, I don't know where this is coming from. I'm, well, honestly, I haven't planned like setting up um, a city or creating a city with a huge commercial demand. This was not my plan at all, but still it happened. For some reason it just happened. And now I'm stuck with the, I wouldn't want to say problem, but with the situation that I somehow have to do something about it. And yeah, try to like live with the situation that's currently given. So I'm replacing these here with a four lane as well. No more six lane shenanigans here. So I'm trying to get rid of all of these. Fine. Let me quickly check. So I can't buy any additional square yet. <clears throat> there is a train station. Just thinking how I could like lay out my city already in advance. A bit better to make sure that I'm not running into any like construction issues at a later stage because that's something I do not really want to have or run into um, yeah so I'm trying to lay out things already as best as I can No reason to go underground here. It's sometimes not not really helpful. No. Just wanna have a straight line. One hundred and eighty degrees. Come on. This has to work. Yeah. Whatever you want, you're getting it like kind of and this. Does that work? No, that doesn't work, believe me. This will not work properly. Um, so I'm picking up and leaving the anarchy mod. Sometimes it's not helpful to work with the anarchy mod. Because sometimes it offers you like constructions that are not really working in game. And so it's not bad to change that or 
ready beforehand. Thank you. Good. So this is connected. I'm creating a little park here again, but first, I want to make sure that I'm having kind of a connection. I'm here. up oh come on no I don't want to stick to the ground something I I definitely have to remember Nice detour. <clears throat> Let's make this a park for my citizens. And I think, yeah, can remove some of the zoning here and add in a beautiful train Harland Meadows train station park. <laughs> Love it because a lot of people are actually walking here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, and I want to give them an option to easily be able to cross. This area. If they need to. Yeah, there is no reason for me to actually expand to over here. And you come. So that's fine. Just adding in. I'm quickly pausing this game here. Um, because park construction can sometimes be a bit challenging. So another nature reserve. Park maintenance. I think I haven't put down any park maintenance buildings yet, but I'm not sure, to be honest. So probably I'll take a closer look at that in a little while. Oh, yeah. I don't need any additional main gates, that's correct. And regarding going over here, I think we do have some options here. It's not going to be that easy. Sometimes it's just good to well, pause the game for a little bit and just, um, yeah, build or think about the way how you can build around some 
given like situation in a in a city. Nine meters up and across. Why is this space? Yeah, you were telling me just because of bad thing. The space is already occupied. Well, I don't care. I use the anarchy mod in that case. And maybe I'm just going down three meters one additional step down so from there again well I'm moving things around in a second that's gonna be solved quickly totally understand this is kind of complaining here uh, this is still still the same issue with the plugin I think or the mod a lot of city builders are for sure using I can't imagine it any different but it's really yeah, it's getting kind of difficult to build your way around it that easily when another plugin isn't working. Perfect. So, yeah, a couple more things here. Just trying to squeeze in like another on ramp here. And maybe not snap it to anything then it should be easier with constructing with the construction with the construction hopefully down like this it's nice and beautiful and over like here, down like there. Oh no, I didn't want to. <laughs> no, that's something I don't want to like destroy. I want to preserve this rock here. This is adding up here nicely. And you can like come up here if you need to. Yeah, perfect. It will help people getting around. Um, yeah, what I'm doing next, which is something I always like always always do putting down a park cafe putting down a restroom here and there and yeah probably there putting down an info booth as well and then a couple of gazebos to make this park a little bit more attractive 
four. No, don't want to get rid of this huge tree. Um, so no, place for a receiver here. Another one over there is fine. Another one over here. That's perfect. And a third one. No. No reason for a third one yet. Oh, this is kind of, I don't really need that. But, well, why not? And walking amongst trees, which is something that'll happen in a second, can be really beautiful. And I just have to add up things here. That's good. Maybe. No, no reason for that, actually. So I'm moving this node a little bit. That node a little bit. Just stretching things out here. So that's working nicely. Perfect. So it's at least another green area in my town here. Not a lot, but it fits in nicely with the forest uh, wood production. Sorry. Yeah, with the wood production thingy, it fits in really nice. So. Why not have a park when it's beautiful at a certain point or at a specific location? That's what I wanted to say. Um, now I'm ah, picking up this, putting a few trees down here, putting another few over there yeah i'm just making things a bit more beautiful for my citizens here fortunately and i'll have a look how where i can improve yeah, there. I think I can or I should put down a couple more trees around those train stations or those incoming train connections here as it makes things a bit more pleasant to the eye on the one hand and on the other hand my citizens won't be bothered with set that much traffic. Because sometimes there is simply no reason to bother people for no reason with too much traffic. Doesn't help them, doesn't help me. So that's good. Is my electricity still enough? Yeah, it still is. Okay, so sewage treatment is becoming an issue. And that's something, honestly, game, why are you doing this? You're telling me that these eco water outlets produce, and now it gets in interesting. Produce 
I'm just curious. I'm just checking my pollution thingy. Not the waste thing. So. It says it produces zero pollution. Absolute zero pollution. And for some reason, that's not true. It's simply not true. Um, so I'm like destroying everything down here just because of these water outlets. But on the other hand, I don't really have any other option. So I'm putting down first a new water tower. I love these futuristic water towers, by the way. So, tank reservoir. Noise pollution. Ah, oh, ha. Huh. So maybe that's something I should include. That wouldn't be bad. That's probably something. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, I almost expected that. Let me check out the and see how so I'm curious interested whether the water treatment here yeah it seems to go a little bit better. At least for the first one, second one is like the same. Yeah, it got actually reduced by a lot already. But still, not enough as it seems. Oh, come on, I just want to connect like this to here. So why did this go off? Not operating. It's still like wastewater here. So what's your capacity? 160k. Oh, this should be way more than that. Just let me think. Could I possibly destroy all these by moving and then move 
those guys. That would be nice. That would be really, really perfect. To move one. To number two. And number three. And I need to connect here and here. What about the wastewater sewage treatment? Yeah, this is fine. <clears throat> That's looking good now. Perfect. Wonderful sewage treatment so people can't complain about me uh, polluting everything. <clears throat> or making things even worse <laughs> now um yeah i'm just interested in the commercial demand is like really i don't like this have so there is no oil except for here yeah, it's something I'm going to take care of later. Like stone, is there anything um, within my premises? Yeah, up here. But that's something I don't want to build on right at the moment. And yeah, warehouses, I think I should have enough. That's fine. And regarding fishing industry, that would be a great place for fishing. Yeah, we'll see. Waste disposal unit. It's pollution and pollution 100% no that's something I'm not going for for sure definitely not going for that yeah and the other thing I wanted to check whether park maintenance do we have something like that already no I don't have this yet So I want to put down a park maintenance building like over here. Because you can then take care of all the parks. What is a biodome for? Well, that would be an interesting site here. And a vertical farm, a couple of vertical farms. It's a futuristic part here. Probably I'm building something like that here.
I'm thinking. Yeah, why not? Why not? There, something went completely wrong here again. This has all to do with this with these mod problems. It's really hard, hard. Sometimes minor mistakes like that, well, they just happen easily. And until you realize them, it's really, it can take a while. So you, sometimes you even don't realize them and then it's, it's like hard for Yeah, for regarding an optimization, it makes things a bit difficult at a later stage. Um, so I'm changing you also to a non-parkable road. Yeah, and since my businesses, as you can see, they are struggling since I think a couple of episodes now, which is not really something I, I like, um, but well, can't really, can't re currently I s I seem to have no like option to do anything about it, which is really sad. Oh, that would be awesome. Does this building vertical farming? And this is a fire dome. Oh, that would be, I'm just wondering, could I make this into a biodome park? or pack this into a park area. Let me try and see whether that works. And I'm definitely going to rename you from Butler Hill into Biodome Hill. So we have a few entry points here. Or we'll have a few entry points here. There will be one huge one a, here in the middle. Park side gate. Like here. There. Then now I think it's all about the proper planning.
So, um, yeah, actually, I'm not yet sure if um, this, like, butler kill construction here was a good plan to go with. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. So I'll, I'll try to figure things out in the meantime. Um, yeah, and I'll be back for you in a couple of minutes again. So thanks for staying tuned. And as you know, if you haven't subscribed yet, Leave me a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, I'd be really happy about it to you. Yeah, welcome you back on my channel here and yeah, please stay tuned for a couple of minutes and I'll be back. Thanks a lot. This is like a well now new dome farming touristy attraction here. Um, just renaming it to Dome Hill Parks. I'm wondering oops, how things will develop over time here in my town, and I'm. Oh, come on, guys. You shouldn't be parking here. That was my intention. Okay, so I have to, again, take care of the parking uh, situation in my town here. Because I don't want to allow the parking on the main road. It doesn't absolutely make no sense here. Because um, it just makes the traffic situation way more difficult than it has been already or probably would have been. No, I just need support here. There's one dome with additional water supplies. And I think I'm moving this park to a different space like over here so that looks quite beautiful already so not a lot of visitors yet here um butler hills park entertainment so maybe I gotta have to put in a few more entertainment things here or like some basic amenities like restrooms here One info booth there. 
And again, the cup of gazebos. Just to raise the entertainment level a bit more. Make things a bit more beautiful here. As well. Yeah, it's looking a bit more natural, a bit more. Like suitable for the giving situation here. It's already level two. I think I can easily reach level three, if not four, probably. We'll see how things go. So now I again have a huge commercial demand here. How could I expect anything different? So I'm putting down now another twelve. Twelve square thingy here, and additional pipelines. Yeah, and some some high rise commercial again, and I'm sure it will. be erased as quickly as possible. Again, these mod issues are really, they are kind of annoying because it makes things like laying out your road network so much different, uh, so much difficult, just for no reason at all, honestly. <clears throat> We're going from here to there. It's a good choice. And this doesn't connect up because maybe that connection is already like wrong. <laughs> Putting down some offices here. Some commercial zones over there, and again, I'm trying to get a few more residents in here. Yeah, because it doesn't help. I can't only continue building commercial zones in my town as well. This doesn't improve my overall situation a lot still have to find a reason for that and there you can see it's too much waiting for the proper timing 
So I'm setting. You can go at any given time. You can go. You can go. So I'm speeding things up here a little bit by allowing. By allowing car drivers. Pass through at least for the straight connection at any time when they can, because then they don't have to wait for traffic lights turning green. That's fine. Um, why are you waiting? Why are you guys waiting just because of these traffic lights, I think? So I'm going to remove you, you, you. Doesn't really help having traffic lights all over the place. I'm removing this parking zone here. Yeah, so now the traffic flow is a lot better than it has been. Yeah. So this is flowing a lot better now, which is good. Yeah, and this town kind of keeps growing here um, steadily. Hopefully you guys can. Yeah, I think they the trash actually can get picked up at any time here. So that should be all fine. Yeah, so. I would like to stop this um, this episode for now and I would like to thank you guys for joining me again here on my City Skyline City Villa channel. This was me, Ben, playing in in his eighth episode of the city of Virgil, which is becoming a quite a huge town right now. Um, I'm expanding it a lot by, yeah, new train station, passenger train stations, so people have a chance to hop on trains. Like, yeah, on four additional stations, then we have one cargo terminal here that was added in last time. And yeah, for the rest, I took care of my wastewater management and things seem to run very smoothly now. So the water is clear, all is good. It was just my mistake of doing things wrong here. And yeah, I hope that you'll be back soon here on my City Builders channel on YouTube. Um, thanks for spending the time here watching me again playing in the City of Werewolf. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that. I'd be really happy about it because it keeps me going. And yeah, if you like this video, leave me a like or leave me a comment down below. And in case you don't like it, um, just don't consider pressing the thumbs down button for no reason without leaving me a comment. So 
please keep me informed if I can or should improve something. And I'm happy, happy to do that. Thanks a lot and have a good one. Stay safe. Bye bye. Thank you.